Hi there. Today I'm going to show you how to use V7's neural networks feature to automatically label your data. So we're going to start here in the neural networks page. Now, if you haven't already trained your first model, please go ahead and click on new model here. And if you need a little bit of help, check out the guide in this section for how to do that. In my case, I've already created two models. And I'm going to start this one right here, show you what it looks like. When I click start, it's going to ask me the minimum and maximum number of servers that I need for this model. In this case, uh, I'm only going to need one or two. Really, what this is determining is uh, how many images per second your model can, can handle. So I'm going to select, I'll just leave it at one right now. Let me click start. And this is starting up. It should be ready and up and running by the time we need it. So now we've got our model starting up. I want to select the data set that I want to label with this model. And that's this one right here, more birds. So if I open up my more birds data set, I want to introduce a model stage to my labeling here. And that can be done within the settings. So if I click on settings. I need to add a model stage to my annotation flow. And if you've set up a workflow before, you're probably familiar with the annotator stage and the reviewer stage. But what's new with the neural networks feature is this stage right here, the model stage. And that's what unlocks a lot of automation. So if I click on add model stage here, I can choose the model that I'm going to use to label my images. And just a little bit of context around this, I've trained an instance segmentation model uh, that I'm going to be using to label images of birds. So I'm going to select this birds model right here. And first thing we're going to do is map our classes. So obviously my use case is quite basic. I've just got one class and that's this one from the, uh, this is the model class. So this model was trained on a bird class that I wanna map to the same class in my data set here. And if you've already got the, if you're working with a blank data set and you've got the training data set from your model, you can very easily copy the classes from that training data set into a blank data set to make this quite an easy process. So these are mapped. I'm going to click on confirm here. And then I'm going to move this stage to the appropriate part of my workflow. And what I want to set up is a workflow where my annotators add a tag to their image. And then from there, they send the image to the AI stage, the AI model stage. From there, the model is going to label the image with a polygon. And then my reviewers can take a look, clean up the image if they want to or if they have to, and then mark that image as complete. One thing I can also do, or I could do if I wanted, would be to move this AI model to the front of our workflow. If I do that, then you're going to see a new option appear. And that's this one right here, auto start. What auto start does is it takes any new images and automatically labels them if they're in a new state. So what I mean by that is if I were to click save changes right now, it would automatically label the first new images that it sees, or basically all the new images in my data set. And if this were a blank data set, if I uploaded new images to it, as soon as they're done processing, it would automatically label them. But what I want to do is just basically set it up the way I mentioned before. My annotators go in first, and then my model labels the images, and then my reviewers clean up the work of the model. So I'm gonna name this, and we'll just call it new model flow, and save the changes there. So now let's take a look at how the labeling works. If I open up my more birds data set and I click on my first image right here, then I've got an image that's, uh, that's in the annotation stage. So if I were a labeler, I want to add a tag to this image. I'm going to add the single tag right here. And then what I can do is send this image off to the next stage, which is the AI model stage. So I'm going to send this off to the AI stage. And the next image that we have in sequence here is one that I've actually already labeled using that AI stage. So this image that's in review was modeled using the AI model. Now my training data set uh, didn't have a lot of training data to work with. So this is a little bit of a uh, sloppy model. It could be done better, but it means my reviewer can come in and make any changes that they need to. So with this new feature, your reviewers can come in, make any changes to the images, mark them as complete, and your labeling can be completed in record time. 